back to a new video. And to all of you who are new to this channel, my name is Vanessa and I live here on the northern east coast of Australia in a city called the Gold Coast. It's November now, so the weather is already starting to feel like summer. While it is still technically spring here, the weather always starts to warm up by mid-September, so I try and cool off as best I can in the ocean or with swimmings at nearby waterfalls. In this video, I wanted to take you with me into my daily life right now and share what I've been up to since last time. For the past weeks, most of my focus has been on improving my skills with photo editing and underwater videography. I've been going out of the morning or afternoon and taking my camera with me to film shots under the water to then edit on my computer at home. I find freediving to be so revitalizing for my soul. When I find myself spending too much time on my computer or shut up indoors, I like to go to the beach and spend some time exploring under the water. I find that all of my worries and stresses are washed away when I come up from the surface, that those things that were bothering me before don't seem so big anymore. It's like a whole other world under the sea, and I try and capture it as best I can on film to share. I still have a long way to go with my editing and filming, but each day I practice, I learn something new that I can bring to my photos and videos. The photos I've been editing recently have been for my website. I've created some new products that I've shared on my shop page and I wanted to update the photos I had previously on there. So I took some samples of my products out to the beach at sunrise as the lighting is so beautiful in the morning and did a photo shoot there. So I've recently organized to get my website updated. I've taken some new photos recently by the beach at sunrise to get some really more professional shots of my products. And I wanted to make my website look a bit more professional because this one that I'm currently using, the one that I currently have, I did it myself. It's very amateur, very basic. And it took me hours and hours to figure out how to do it all. And I thought, I'll, rather than like try and make it look more professional myself, just pay someone else to do it, it's much easier and save me so much time. I'm really grateful that I can do that now. I've been saving a lot to be able to get this up and running. And I'm really loving what he's done so far. I've got someone in the background working on my website. So hopefully soon it will be finished and I can show you guys the finished website once it's done. If you do follow my monthly newsletter, which is on my website, you can sign up there. I'll link it in the description below. I do share more about it and you know the past few months of leading up to doing this and when it's finally up and running i do share a lot more about that there so if you want to join our community there feel free to sign up yeah so that is something i'm really just so excited about it's been something i wanted to do this whole year well, many years really since i started uh like eight years ago i just wanted to have a website where you can just hop on look around it's really easy to navigate and it's finally coming together so hopefully soon that will be finished and you guys can see the new website I've also been practicing my photography with the homemade products that I make for my blog posts. A lot of my practice has been with those photos and I've been updating a lot of the old photos I had on my posts with new ones to help my website look a little more professional. At times it can be really frustrating as my perfectionism kicks in and the photos don't turn out how I want them to or I don't know how to make my photos look as good as other people's. But I'm learning to give myself time and not compare my journey so much with that of other people's as my photos will have my own unique spin on them and that's okay.
On really warm, hot days, days where it's too hot to stay in my room and edit videos or photos, I escape to the forest near where I live and take some time to reconnect with nature and bathe in the cool streams under the waterfalls. I try and do this more regularly now, while the weather is warm and when I feel like I've been cooped up indoors for too long. Sometimes, when I'm so focused on a project, I become a little obsessed and it takes all of my attention, but I can run myself down and burn myself out if I'm not careful. So I try and remember to take breaks and time away from my computer to get outside in nature and reconnect with myself again. Nature is very grounding for me and I always come away feeling fresh and new again. are some of my favourite moments of the day. I love seeing the first rays of light rising up over the horizon and feel the warm sunlight on my face, signalling the start of a new day. It's also one of the most peaceful and quiet parts of the day, as only a handful of others are awake, so I get a lot of this time to myself before the rest of the world awakens. There's something magical about a sunrise. It captures my attention and I can't help but stop and watch it unfold. The sky turns from red to orange to yellow and it's one of the only times of day when you can stare directly into the sun without it being too bright. I just want to say to all of you watching that I'm so grateful for you watching this video and I'm really excited to share more of what's happening more of my projects and plans in future with you all. I feel so inspired by the kind words and messages you share in the comment section on my videos and I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It means so much to me that you enjoy the videos I create and that you find them helpful or entertaining in some way. It inspires me to keep going and keep creating and continue to make more videos to share with you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I send you all my love and I'll see you soon again.